morning, adventurers. Good morning. We are in the lovely town of Buena Park, California. We were out in Joshua Tree the last couple of days, but we just drove in here. It was a couple hour drive, and now we are much closer to LA, about mm -hmm. 20 minutes from there? Something like that. Yeah. This town is known for all kinds of awesome attractions. They have a water park, a theme park, all kinds of amazing restaurants. We're gonna go to the water park later today, which uh, well, I can't remember the last time we were at a water park. It's been a while. I think it was in Gatlinburg in oh, yeah. Tennessee. Jeez. I think that's the last Ages water ago. park we went to. It's a little dreary right now, but it's supposed to get nice and sunny in a bit. Should be a perfect day. But it is lunchtime right now. We just pulled into the soup noodle bar, I think is how you pronounce it. So we are going to go eat some delicious noodles before we kick this day off. Let's get our soup on. All right, we've just been seated. There was a little bit of a wait. Actually, if you come here, check in on Yelp ahead of time and it puts you in line yes, so you can just tip. show up and sit right down. It got very warm while we were waiting though. As you can see, it got very sunny and they have this beautiful watermelon lemonade as a special today. The, our server said they just got the watermelon from the market Filet. nearby. Oh, yeah. Our soup's Filet, already arrived. Please. Okay, yes. so this is a short read. Well, that was really fast. Our soup arrived before I got to try the uh, lemonade, but we'll set it aside. It looks kind of hot. Let's give this a go. Whoops. <laughs> oh no, Still the low. ice got, so got the, in the way. They only give you straws here upon request. So. Yes, and we do not need one, or maybe I do need one, I don't maybe know. Maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good, it tastes like just lemon or watermelon juice. Well, that is about the most refreshing drink I think we could have gotten. This yes. was a success, and it's unlimited. And now all of our food has come, so we're yes. gonna eat that. <laughs> I forgot that we got some little pork bao. We got our delicious pho. Oh my gosh, I'm in happy town right now. <laughs> I'm not a pho expert by any means, but from what I understand, you're supposed to kind of taste it first. It's all about the broth, you know, so you want to taste the broth and see if it's to your liking, and then kind of add stuff from there. Ooh, the broth is to my liking. <laughs> so it's a beef broth that this is all in. We got the noodles in there, we've got some pieces of beef in there. It is so delicious. Oh my god. That's what you thought. Honestly, you guys, I was not expecting it to be that good. That is perfect. Wow. I mean, I'll probably put lime in it, but that might be about it for me. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I don't really want to put any more sauces or anything in it. The broth is delicious as it is, so I just put some lime in it. Oh, yeah. That was my first bite. I don't mind that. The broth is just so salty and flavorful and oily. It is just delicious. It's all soaked into the noodles, it's soaked into the beef. <laughs> It is excellent. I opted to not get any garnish because it was mostly just onions and cilantro. Allison, <laughs> however, got a huge... I got all. I said, yeah. yes, give me everything you so have. So much. So she's going to be in heaven with that. But this is my style. I'm very happy with this. And I forgot to say, these are the uh, boneless short ribs. You can get bone-in beef in here as well and all kinds of other, other types. As some of you guys might remember, we were recently in Vietnam. This is taking uh, us back. This is yeah. up there. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. We accidentally ate way too much, you guys. Oh my God. And I actually realized at the end there, they do unlimited uh, noodles. So they'll just bring you more and more noodles in your uh, broth. But we have to be in our swimsuits for our next adventure. <laughs> so we had to cut ourselves off. <laughs> yeah, and it, so it is super hot out here. Um, the sun is out in full force. So we are going to head to the water park, Soak yeah, City. Not Soak City, here we come. We have arrived to Soak City, you guys. Whew. And we are ready to get soaked. It is hot out here. Yeah, we are, but we are not gonna be able to do it in this attire, so we're gonna get changed up and then hop in. This is a little bit more appropriate. We are I think ready. We're ready. But actually, we have this cabana that we're gonna be chilling in during our time here. And check this out. They have a, a server that'll come over and give you drinks. Mm -hmm. They also brought us a big old thing of water. Which is great oh, because it is, it is so, so freaking hot. Warm. <laughs> if you're wondering why we look extra white, it's because we put on sunscreen and now we look pale air. Yeah, we got this natural sunscreen. <laughs> I think it's made from bamboo yeah. or something. Oh, it just, it does not soak into your skin. No. And then the more you sweat, the more it creases. So we're looking a little mess, a little messy, but <laughs> hopefully uh, it'll keep us from burning. Well, the way that uh, Knott's Berry Farm works is Knott's Berry Farm is the theme park, and then next door you have the water park, Soak City, where we're at. Mm -hmm. You guys should let us know if you prefer the theme park, staying dry all day, or getting wet at the water park like this, or the combo, which yes. is probably the best of both worlds. And we will let you know tomorrow what we think, because we will be going to the other side to the theme park tomorrow, so we're going to be testing them both out. Yeah, but that's enough chatting, we're going to get in this one. Oh my god, it's freezing. <laughs> oh, I'm not excited. 
expecting that. Ooh. 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 <laughs> traffic was pretty bad. <laughs> she told me, turn it on, I got some funny joke to say. <laughs> it was no, pretty good. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> okay. Don't look now, but I think we're being followed. I think that's enough being lazy. Time to ride some real rides. You guys, that was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> that last one was, oh my God, so much more amazing and terrifying than I thought it was yeah. gonna be. We got soaked. Lots of fun, but uh, enough excitement yeah. for us. So I think now the, we're going uh, to- The excitement and screaming has made us hungry yet again. So we are off to dinner. We've arrived at our dinner spot. It is an Italian place called Il Palco that is apparently pretty new. It's at this complex called The Source. And check this place out. It's all open air in the middle with all these little shops and stuff. It is really neato. There's a spot in this restaurant that overlooks the courtyard, you know, and it was really stunning. We walked in and we're like, oh, that's the restaurant. Awesome. We have placed our order for our food. We are so excited about it. It all looks, sounds delicious anyway. But they also had some amazing cocktails. And you guys, we've been trying all sorts of unique cocktails over the last month or so. So we figured we would keep that trend going. This one is called the Blueberry Bramble. Now I'm going to read it the ingredients off this list because I cannot remember them all. It is Dave Finney's Burning Chair Aged Bourbon. Fresh lemon, bitters, blueberry mash topped with rosemary and cracked pepper that you can see on top there. Tell me this doesn't look just fresh and delicious. Oh man, wow, that is nothing like what I was expecting. It's like delicious, lightly sweetened fruit juice. You don't even really taste the alcohol in there. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is crazy. I think all the fish are still alive in there, maybe. <laughs> They're just swimming. Still cooking. It's a little bubble bath for them, a little hot tub. Oh, did you get steamed up? Did it fog up? up? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this sucker is called Chipino. It's, I guess, pretty much their house dish or their special. And as you can see, it has pretty much every type of seafood that you could imagine in here. There are some mussels. There's some shrimp, clam, scallops. A huge calamari. I've only ever seen it really in rings, so this is really cool. And then it's all doused in this spicy tomato sauce. It's got some lemon in there too, so I think it's gonna be a little tangy and zesty. The time has come for us to try the chipino. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Look at, these are the biggest fork and spoon in the land, by the way. <laughs> and I feel like that is very appropriate for the bite that I'm going to be taking. I'm gonna be impressed if you can actually take that in one bite. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> almost. <laughs> this is phenomenal. I mean, it's just so good. There's so much flavor. And I was worried that with, you know, the broth, I've never really had the broth with the spaghetti before. It is so good. It's so interesting. And there's still the chunks of tomato in here, so you can make it as chunky or as soupy as you want. I mean, the seafood is just perfect. Ugh. We've also got some delicious looking gnocchi. So these are just like little dumpling balls. They came with some uh, bone marrow on the side, which I've never had before. So I'm gonna have to give that a try. But first things first, let's give these a try. Oh yeah. I love these because they're just so dense and gooey on the inside and usually pretty flavorful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. A few commenters have given me a hard time for saying creamy all the time, but I swear, this just has a delicious creamy texture on the inside. It's like butter in your mouth. It's not doughy. It's really interesting texture, but tons of flavor. All right, bone marrow time. So what's the proper way to eat this? You just dig it out with the spoon? Yeah, just, you can start it or wherever you want. Just like this, kind yeah. of? Yeah. Well, Whoa. I gotta say bone marrow has never sounded very appetizing to me because it just looks like a bit of fat in a bone. <laughs> Vegetarians look away. Mm. Wow. It's real salty. I wouldn't say it's my favorite thing ever, only because of the texture. The flavor is amazing in there, but the texture is so interesting. It's got a hard layer on the top, and then it just bursts with wet goo on the inside. Like pudding inside? Yeah. <laughs> it's thinner than pudding. It's just like a bunch of juice. 
like bone juice. <laughs> like but bone I, juice. I will say the flavor is bomb, but the texture, I gotta get used to that. That was delicious, we're stuffed as usual. <laughs> We had to get it to go for yeah. a midnight snack because it was just too yummy to leave behind. Yeah. But we have one more cool thing that we're going to do before we end this night. Mm -hmm. We are going to go to the Cauldron, which the cauldron. is, it's been described as a witch themed bar. Yeah. I don't quite know what to expect, but I've got some high hopes for it. Yeah, so we'll see you there. We have arrived at the cauldron and as you can see it's actually really cool in here we thought it was going to be like really hardcore witch themed like we were saying almost like halloween style i thought style. it was going to have cheap, cheap decorations yeah you know like, like hanging spiders from the ceiling and stuff like that but it's actually super classy they do have funny little things like there's um a little cat that walks by that's actually yeah. just a shadow. I can't catch it on camera because it happens. I don't know when it happens, but it's once in like 10 minutes. Yeah, I think. it keeps <laughs> happening up in a bookshelf. It's really interesting. They have little jars that glow and it looks like they have different bugs in them. They've got something above the fireplace that sometimes has ghosts, sometimes has eyeballs. But they also have these delicious beverages that are very cool. We, I also thought that they would only serve cauldrons that were smoking or something like that. They actually serve really classy uh, cocktails. We stuck with their two whiskey cocktails. Yeah, what was this? Bourbon and brimstone. Yes. Mm. And then mine was, what was it? Cocktail La Louisiane? Louis <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Cheers, sir. She knows. She knows it's She knows it's Ooh. Yeah. I'm trying mine off camera if you're wondering why I'm saying ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> He's just reacting to my reaction. <laughs> it kind of tastes like an old fashioned, but a little, it's got, I think it's that, yeah, a little bit of absinthe in there. So it's nice. a little more, I guess, absinthe <laughs> than an old fashioned. Well said. Yeah. To the cauldron. To the cauldron. Ooh. The server just grabbed us and asked us if we want to see the secret back room. Oh, that's secret back room. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wow, this is classy. All right, all right. Oh, and now we're in it. Okay. We're here. That was, good. I feel like we just got hey tricked. Guys. Okay, oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't know if you were coming back. <laughs> Well, good afternoon. As you can see, it's the next day. We actually came back to the source. Or is it source? The source? I think the source. The source. This place is so crazy. They have so many restaurants here. We actually just had some Korean barbecue. It was fantastic. Yeah, they brought a bunch of meats and then grilled it in the middle for us, and it was delicious. It was so good for dessert. We came to this tea house, which apparently originated in Sri Lanka, so it seems super authentic. They have a crazy wall of every sort of tea imaginable, more than I ever knew existed. We are trying their milk tea, giving this a go. I think it's Earl Grey milk tea. Ooh, it smells like perfume. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, baby. Oh, man. It's pretty sweet, but the flavor is so nice and like Try florally. This. Ooh, wow, that's yeah, delicious. That, that's some good tea. We also have a little uh, sneaky dessert coming, but it's gonna take a little bit to get that out here. So what better way to spend our time than downing some delicious milk tea? Oh my goodness, you guys, what have we done? We got souffle pancakes. I had never heard of this in my entire life. I did not know what it meant. We waited a bit, so now it's starting yeah, to melt so a little bit. Yeah, so now it's melting, but I think so. It should be really eggy, light, fluffy pancakes. Yeah, it's so jiggly. Oh my god, and this place, oh, look at that. It looks like sponge cake or something. This place is actually known for this. They have all sorts of types. We stuck with the old trusty classic, with it, which I think just has cream and a little powdered sugar on top, but you can get like bananas, strawberries, all types of things, maybe even matcha. I don't even know what to expect. I don't know. It's like eggy French toast, but super light, super fresh, and like not very sweet or anything. The cream is perfect. I don't think I could do much more on it, or it doesn't need anything. The flavor is just so nice. This dough <laughs> or batter or whatever you call it is amazing. All right. It is like a custard. Kind Bread of is like custardy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect and, dessert or brunch, whichever. Yeah. And then we die of sugar, sugar yeah. coma. <laughs> will never survive. But I think 
This officially ends our perfect day here in California. I know we kind of did breakfast after the, yeah. or the next day. It's better to cross two days, but you could do yeah, it in one day. Yeah, you could do this for breakfast and then have our fun day. The water park, all the delicious food. We are loving it out here and all the sunshine. Tomorrow's going to be just as exciting and fun. We have so many goodies coming for you guys. More food and fun sights. Oh, so fun. <laughs> Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>